Okay. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. I'm multitasking here. Oh, that's something that uh, the Rev does very well. Multitasking. He's a multitasker. I've actually been on the go all day today. I haven't stopped once. Well, that's good for you because, you know, it means that you're getting getting better. You have all this energy. Um, Yeah, I guess. (laughs) Just trying to take my mind off of some things. And I promised her... She wanted to go to the movie, so I surprised her and uh, took her to see the movie she wanted to see after school. Did you go see Inside Out? Yes, I did. Really, it's a cute movie. It's very well played out. The after well, it was a cartoon, but I mean, I know they, they did good. Disney, Pixar, whoever did it, they did good. Well, look, they're going to make money, you know that. Say that again? I said they're going to make money on it, no doubt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, where is and my Father's Day thing? We're into the season of, uh, you know, summer movies. Yes. Yeah. And it's always good to be one. it's always good to be one of the first. Uh, it, I tell you, the the place was packed. They had two or three. Um, I guess it, they're playing it in like two or three different uh, theaters. There, I, I think where I go is a either an eight plex or a twelve plex. I don't even know, but I mean, we got I got her there at like a quarter after three. The movie started at four o'clock, but when we got there. There was, like, almost no seats left. Well, I'm not surprised because, you know, my son has gone to see Jurassic World and some other things, and he said, uh, you know, that you got to get tickets in advance. And don't forget, this is Regents Week, so a lot of kids who don't have tests are home. I know. And, ca- and Catholic schools, uh, today was their last day. Really? This time of year already? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the 19th. You yeah. Know. A, week, a week from today is her last day. Yeah, I guess. As a matter of fact, the fifth graders in her school graduated today, so I don't think they come back until next Friday just to pick up their report cards and uh, get back to school list. All right, if you give me one more second, I got it. I just have to pull over so I can read it. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. One more minute. All right, you know what I'm pulling over over here. Who's this? I don't know who you are, but I'm pulling over in your driveway. Okay. What I wrote yesterday. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. As this Sunday comes near, I just can't stop to think that it will be our fifth Father's Day without you. So many things I wish I could have said to you. So many hugs and kisses and gifts I could have given you. But you're so far away, and all I have this year and every year are the memories we shared throughout the years. I love you always, Daddy, till we can hug again. Love your little girl. Nice. Very, nice. Very touching. Very touching. And for all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Because we won't be on right, Sunday. Save it till the end of the show. Well, this was appropriate time after hearing... That's very nice. Thank you. It's taking me, you know, someone asked me um, to why I don't post many pictures of my father. Like, there's one or two pictures on Facebook of my father. Um, the day of my wedding, 
And there's one picture of him holding Samantha when she was one. And they were like, why don't you post any more pictures? And I was like, because it's hard. I I haven't gone through his stuff yet. In the five years that he's gone, I still haven't gone through. There's a box that I just can't get to because I'm a, I'm just afraid to go into it. I mean, it's all the pictures. It's pictures of me and him when I was a baby. It's pictures of him when he was a, a teenager and a baby. And it, it's just hard for me. I just can't do it. Well, I think those people who have lost loved ones understand how you feel, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Never, oh, yeah. It's never, it's never easy, you know. Uh, and like you say, you have your memories, and um, at certain times it's always nice to pick up that box and look through those pictures and recall the memories that they bring to mind, you know. Uh, sort of like, um, you know, the song from Cats, you know, that Barbara Streisand made, so, made so so popular, yes. And she did such a beautiful job on it, you know. Misty, watercolored memories of the way we were. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I, I think even people, you know, who are no longer with, you know, uh, ex-wives, ex-husbands, ex-lovers, whatever the case may be, you know, um, there had to be happy times in the past that you might recall. You know, they can't all be bad memories because you got divorced. You know, there had to be certain things that you remember because, after all, you were married. So at at some point in your lives, you had to be in love, okay? Um, And it's unfortunate that many times when we think of ex-spouses, you know, we only think of the negative because that's the most prevalent in our mind, you know? Well, I had, I always, every year at this time, because June 24th would have been my parents' wedding anniversary, so... Even when he was alive, I would call him up and just, like, remind him that, you know, oh, you know, it would have been your so-and-so anniversary. So I think it was a week ago, I was with my mother, and I said to her, I said, you know, June 24th is coming up. She's like, yeah. I said, and it would have been your 50th wedding anniversary with my father. And she was like, yeah. I was like... That's a milestone. Even though you guys are divorced, that's still, you know, not many people you hear are married 50 years. She's like, but you have to understand that your father and I got divorced. I said, yes, I understand that you, that you and my father got divorced, but you also have to understand that a child coming from a broken home doesn't see it as the people that got divorced. In my eyes, you'll always still be married. So then she threw at the fact that my father was gone. She was like, well, your father now has passed. I says, I don't think he would have passed if you guys still would have been married. So she was like, you can't think like that. You know, she says, what about your marriage? You know, you're going through issues. I says, yeah. I says, but mine are totally different. And it's the truth, you know. It's what you. It's how you said it before. You know, divorce. You know, divorces. It's very hard for everybody in that's that's involved, and it's very hard for the kids. And yes, I'm in my late forties, but you know what? It's always going to be there, and it's always going to be a tear in my heart that my parents are no longer together. <laughs> Well, I, I think that you can, you know, take be proud of what you wrote. You know, it's from the heart and very meaningful, you know, and it certainly expresses your feelings, you know. Felix is into doing some technical work here. You have to understand. Yeah, that's that. why I'm so quiet. I apologize. But then again, Felix is always very quiet. 
know. Felix, you're always quiet lately. I mean, I, I don't take offense to it. Felix only thank you, his thank name you. to the show. You know, that's about it. He's like uh he's like Johnny Carson, you know. He'll he he'll sit back. He doesn't he doesn't even do a monologue anymore. You know. Oh really? I mean Yeah. You know, Felix, I mean you're lucky that he says uh uh-huh. good evening and welcome to our show, et cetera, et cetera. And do you know by the way, do you know what our topic is tonight? Something about God. Right. Yeah. It's about, proof, you know, what proof do we have of God's existence? Now, Felix thought, and I said, no, I think he's wrong, but, you know, he's entitled to his opinion that since you are now Catholic, that you have a whole new perspective on the existence of God. And I said, I doubt that highly because Jewish people believe in God. And all she did was, you know, just believing in God, she now believes in God and God the Father and the Holy Ghost. So she believes in the Trinity. Well, that's... You know, um, I did happen to say, by the way, I don't know, did I say this on Wednesday? Yes, I did, but I don't even know if you heard it because we had s- such a lousy connection on Wednesday. Remember with all that double... Uh... We way, did because... Did you... No, we did because I actually tried to listen to the um to the show again like I always do and I had to stop because it was just between between me and Mark you were hearing like two or three different voices at the same time. It was very bad echoing. Tonight's very good. You didn't know that we could throw off voices like that, you and I, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh but um, my my sister, okay, did say that she she felt that you know, and I apologize to Chad if he's listening. I can't say that he is, but well, this is a different show. We're talking about no, but what I'm saying is that you know, my my sister felt that he was rather harsh with you. Well, that was on Friday, not on Wednesday. Last Friday. I know that. Okay. I know I, that. I he no you you mentioned that um on Wednesday to me. Wednesday. That no. she felt that he was harsh to me. You know, he's always harsh to me. But you know what? I don't take offense to it because I know where he's. You know, I know where he's coming from. He's coming from totally different views. His views are strictly from the Bible. He only um, relates to the words of the Bible. He doesn't relate to Jesus. He doesn't relate to the to the prophecies or anything oh, like that. I think he does relate to Jesus, and he does relate to the prophecies, because he's always quoting from Isaiah, and in the Old Testament, and Isaiah, in the Old Testament, is the one who is constantly making reference to the Jewish Messiah, and what yeah, but I don't think like. he's I don't I don't think he's looking it at as the as him talking it. He's he's just saying that it's the word of the Bible. Not that it's the word of Isaiah. I mean, it's in it's it's Isaiah or Matthew, yes. But I don't. I think he takes the tenth just from the Bible. But he, I mean, let's face it. If it wasn't for Matthew, if it wasn't for Isaiah, if it wasn't for the disciples, then the words of what you know, the words that we're reading from the Bible wouldn't be there. Well, the, well, in the New Testament, at least, because in the New Testament, it's all the Gospels of uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Right. So, I'm talking about the, yeah. I'm talking about the New Testament. My belief. Listen, I I believe that there is a God. I believe that God is the Creator. I believe, and this was before I became Catholic, I always believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Um, he, well, when, you say God was, when you say God was the creator, are you, say, are you a creationist? Do you believe in creationism or evolution? Um, honestly, I think I'm on the fence on both because, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. You know, I I have mixed feelings about both. Um, in one way, again, I believe that he created, but then again, I also believe... I mean, I don't believe so much as in evolution, um, 
But, you know, I wasn't there. I don't 